Hello everyone, welcome back to Fuzzy Pixels. My name is Clau and today here we are with another speed build and this one is a bit more special than the previous ones because so far uh, all of my speed builds were makeovers but this time I thought maybe I can try a build challenge because I've been watching a lot of James Turner in the past uh, few days and I thought maybe I can try this uh, 4 by 4 challenge which basically is that you have to build a fully functional house on a tiny tiny house uh, which is 4 by 4 dimensions and I also watched um, Dee Dee's video which she created in this challenge and I was a little inspired by that so you can see that the bathroom uh, area which is uh, three by one is very similar to the one she has in her beard but I was trying to let my imagination run free in this one and uh, I struggled a lot with this actually you can see that I will do a lot of redesigning through the process I think it was super fun actually and I really like how it turned out in the end I mean the interior, the exterior is a bit weird, you will see that later and I don't want to spoil anything but you can see that so far um, I have a little family here who I can use to like play test a lot and just test if everything works uh, the way I place them. So obviously I think this challenge is impossible without uh, having a bunk bed in your game so or a loft bed in this case. So I use the loft bed. I think it's by uh, Veranka. I will leave it in the description if I don't forget. But if I do forget, you can find it on my Tumblr as uh, most of my CC. So I've been trying to utilize the space a lot here. And uh, so far I was thinking I'm doing good. I actually wasted a lot of time here trying to make this kitchen look nice and uh, big enough. I had this idea that I would want to have a little island like uh, the counters at the wall and a separate island not too far but obviously you can't do that in a 4x4 house because that requires at least three tiles because one tile have to be between the two and I will I will try to do it but you will see that it's not working so also I'm always too lazy to like fix this because I, I never found the basic kitchen uh, cabinets and I'm always so lazy to like categorize them properly so I was messing with shelves and stuff trying to make it look nice but it didn't really work out and uh, I decided like I was really fond of this idea with the plank thing like the whole thing is just one built in uh, kitchen thingy but then I gave up on it and I will just use like a um, custom content half wall instead but I think it still looks nice also I decided to use this tiny tiny fridge under the counter because that saves us a lot of space but I am still not sure about this and please guys let me know can they eat proper food out of these mini fridges because I was trying and all he could eat was like instant food and cereal I mean for breakfast like there was no option or uh, like these sweet cookies I don't know what are they called like top of my head right now but like can they eat proper food out of these small fridges or is it just like these basic instant food things I am not sure but uh, if they cannot eat proper food out of the fridge then it's a shame because this guy will live on a cereal so you see uh, I tried to place the island half tile away because a lot of uh, stuff works on with only half tile space but this didn't work unfortunately and I think it's kind of better this way because it would be super crammed like it will be crammed this way as well because I'm I'm transforming the kitchen and later on I will realize that I need one more counter because I didn't put a sink in the bathroom and I need a sink so <laughs> that will be fun like when the realization hit me I was like oh my god no how am I gonna make this work actually I really like this little idea I had with this wooden end piece at the stove but I will place a, another counter next to it so it won't be seen so yeah I am I am testing this now and uh, obviously the CC bunk bed doesn't have proper animation but it works properly and I, I remember I was like very satisfied with myself at this point because I was like oh my god I could even fit a double desk that's so cool 
Um, but no, it, it won't work out because I will have to place another cabinet. Yeah, but I would say so far so good. Uh, it's very functional. I was also checking my books because I think I have CC books, like not bookshelves, only the rack of books, which allow me to like allow my sims to study and stuff so it's not decorative but i couldn't find which one was it and i was like it, it doesn't really matter um so i just left it yeah a little bit of decorating i actually really enjoy decorating this one i love throwing clutter around oh yeah this is the this is the part when i realized that the the double desk just uh, won't do so i'm trying to fit in a simple desk but then i realized uh the sims can cannot sit there if i put the cabinet thing there so a little rearranging a little replanning but here we go and yeah i was about to say that i love clutter i love uh cramming my beards with clutter but oftentimes i don't have enough patience because for a huge house doing this with every room like omsps and just i it, it takes so much time like i can't commit to that much that dedication i don't know so in this tiny house it was perfect because i could really really decorate this one and i am very satisfied with this also i was trying to make it like a little uh, green home if that makes sense like a little eco lifestyle inspiration from sims 4 and that's what burst the horrendous roof that you will see uh, at the end of the video but yeah i was uh, i wanted to like place a lot of uh, veggies and green stuff and flowers and stuff like that so i think uh, i i think i managed so the final layout kind of looks like this as you can see he can use everything around the house and i'm not sure if it like it's cheating that he can use the wardrobe behind the leather but i can imagine like in real life it wouldn't really stop me from using it like you can just pull out the drawers and, and stuff like that so it should be all right and i love how even the small rugs fill all the space i i think i love this so much and uh, i actually think i'm gonna move a sim here and play in this house just to like see how it works gameplay wise i know that it must be like a bit tedious to navigate because the space is so small you have to like rotate around every time when you want to do something so it doesn't really i wouldn't say it's so user friendly but um i kind of want to try it, it's really intriguing to me and uh, like i moved this pre-made guy here and he had the dog and i was wondering if i should place some stuff for the dog but like no space literally no space anywhere in this house and i also moved them out which is a funny story because i was like okay i'm just gonna move this guy here to like test the build if it works properly and um, when i went back into my game to take pictures of the interior for the end of the video I moved the guy out and uh, only to realize that uh, caused every furniture to disappear in the house. So I wasn't really wise in my decision, so I had to refurnish the whole thing. And that's why at the end there will be a few items which are not at this exact same spot that you can see in the video, but like that was fun. Actually building and furnishing and like figuring this out took me an hour total so it was like really surprising because my makeovers for example the broke makeover i finished in less than an hour and this is basically a four by four house and i spent so much time on building this but i don't know it was really fun i'm actually thinking about trying more beard challenges so let me know if you have any nice suggestions or what do you guys think about this do you like these type of building videos as well i enjoyed this i i really did it was super fun like a little bit of variety into my game if that makes sense like a little uh push i had to push myself a little so basically this is the house like a little first person tour i like it i think it's super cute actually L little kitchen and now we go to the small bathroom which is like a tiny 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 bathroom but I kind of like it and then I decided to like put tiles there because it wouldn't really make sense if in the shower there would be paint because then the paint would be wet all the time and that just doesn't really sound nice. So here we are. 
with the exterior, which I was first I was like, oh yeah, like a little roof with a solar panel, and then I was like, nah, this is just too simple, too good looking. So I had to do some wild shit. I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some wild shit, and. Uh, yeah, it looks so bad, like the end product looks so bad, but I spent so much time on it that I didn't want to demolish. So yeah, I was like, no, the tent roof is, is not really a thing that I like here, so how about we just put this glass thing there, and I was like, just a tiny roof, so odd, but like, it looks bad, but now this just looks like a box, so what should I do? And I spent so much time trying to make this work. And then I decided in the middle there should be glass and on the sides there should be roof. And I'm gonna put the roof down in a second. But obviously it looks dumb. It looks absolutely dumb. And then I was like, okay, but what if I would put the glass at the top of the roof? Because that's that's gonna look so good. And so I um, I slapped my CFE sheet into the sheet bar and tried to make the glass uh, level with the roof. And it was fun, actually. I should use this sheet more because there are so many nice things that you can do with it. But this house is not one of them. It's, it's, it's gonna look so funny. Like, I can't wait for you guys to see it. But I did it. So you can see now we have a little glass top for our roof. I turned off the sheet and I I put down the roof. And like I angered them a lot trying to make it a line. But this just made the house look like a half bald man who have hair on the side but not on the top. Don't tell me you don't see it. It looks like a half boiled man. It looks very, very funny. I don't know. I wouldn't do this again. I would just slap a whole glass roof on the top and that's it. But um, this is it. This is my funky house. Actually, from the inside, I like that you can, you know, look out on the roof. I think it looks nice. I would love to live in a house with a glass roof, but... Not if it looks like this. Not if it looks like this, honey. This is a half board house. But yeah, this would be my small 4x4 home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do let me know in the comments if you would like to see something similar. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.